Oh yeah, this is that Jim Carrey joke. Yeah. So is this like a new new Dave Chappelle? Yes, special? yes. They've been dropping a lot of specials on Netflix. A lot of comedy I have specials. Seen some, I have Dave seen Chappelle's some. got like three controversial ones in the past few years where they paid him a lot of money for. Like he had like a return one. Yes, he they paid him like sixty million dollars. I don't know. As he deserves. They, He's they the paid goat. him. They paid him a lot of money. They paid him crazy, crazy bag. He need to go back doing the uh, the, the sketch skits. comedy. Yeah. yeah, that was so. Funny, His show is actually goaded. He was okay. like he was so much different than skinnier. His voice was lighter. He's like a whole different it. person. Well, y'all know the LGBT. He moved to. Africa ZXP group pretty sure that's what he is did is trying to counsel him again oh wow. of course well let's hear why and the only thing that got me out of that space was a comedian friend of mine the late great Norm Macdonald that's right oh, shout yeah, out to Norm to yeah Norm's a funny guy and what Norm did which I'll never forget is he knew that I was the biggest Jim Carrey fan in the world now I'm not gonna go all into it but Jim Carrey is talented in a way that you can't practice or rehearse what a God-given talent. I was fascinated with him. And Norm knew that. And he called me up and he goes, Dave, um, he says, I'm doing a movie with Jim Carrey. Um, do you want to meet him? And I said, fuck, yes, I do. And it was the first time I could remember since my father died being excited. And the movie mm -hmm. was called Man on the Moon. I didn't know any of this. And in this movie, Jim Carrey was playing another comedian I admired, the late, great Andy Kaufman. Yes, and Jim Carrey was so immersed in that role that from the moment he woke up to the time he went to bed at night, he would live his life as Andy Kaufman. Dang. I didn't know that. When they said cut, this nigga was still <laughs> Andy Kaufman. <laughs> so much so that everybody on the crew That's called insane. him Andy. I didn't know any of that. I just went there to meet him, and when he walked into the room where we were supposed to meet, I screamed, Jim Carrey! And everyone said, no! <laughs> Call him Andy. And I didn't understand. And then he came over and he was acting weird. I didn't know he was acting like Andy Kaufman. He was just like, hey, how you doing? And I was like, hello. <laughs> Andy? Now, in hindsight, how fucking lucky am I? that I got to see one of the greatest artists of my time immersed in one of his most challenging processes ever. Very lucky to have seen that. But as it was happening, <laughs> the world was going down. I was very disappointed. <laughs> because I wanted to meet Jim Carrey, and I had to pretend this nigga was Andy Kaufman <laughs> all afternoon. <laughs> and he was clearly Jim Carrey. I could look at him and I could see. He was Jim Carrey. Anyway, I say all that to say, that's how trans people make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> that is such wow. It was so hard for me not to laugh, bro. I already seen this clip, You knew bro. what was coming. Yeah, but I, 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 I didn't see that coming. I, no, I did not. The first time that I, I was like, like where's it going with this? I was like, this? how does this have anything to do with the LGBTQ? I mean, that's what I was literally mean? just thinking. I was like, what the hell? Are I was saying that for so long. Now that's actually funny. As that is, that's that's <laughs> you watch that again, you're gonna be held. That's, that's just funny even dope. funny. Honestly, bro. that's a that's. Yeah. I don't understand what's so bad about that joke. There's nothing bad about that. I don't uh, understand why everyone's so mad about that joke. Because he's basically saying they're pretending to be, you know, something that they're not. They are. <laughs> I know, but you know, that's gonna make them upset, buddy. I'm but you know, we it, already got people. I'm gonna just keep it hundred. Like we already. He got didn't say anything TikTok. bad though. It was just a joke. It was a setup, punchline, delivery. That, I feel like that's just. He doesn't give a fuck. He's all been uh, trying to get. He's been, they've been trying to cancel him for a long time. He does have. not give a fuck. They That's have. what makes him a real. They have. They, they remember that. That the, was the, hilarious. He was making trans jokes a few years ago. Dude ran on stage and they jumped him. He said, "Andy." <laughs> he said, now "I can look at him and I can tell exactly who he was," but he couldn't say it. That just was so funny. He said, "No, you gotta man. call him." <laughs> that's some that's insane. Why I was, I was, I, I was trying so hard not to laugh. It's because oh, it's I, really I, insanity, bro. That's just hilarious, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, but let's see the people that want to cancel him. See what they have to say. Uh, it was it was funny. hard for me to look at this. Uh, come on, let's go. Yeah. Trans jokes aren't funny. Let me tell you why. <laughs> so Bill Maher, like some recent things. more news about Dave Chappelle, Chappelle, some um, Ricky Gervais, the special, right? So there's there's been all these trans jokes uh, recently. Number one, they're not original. I've heard basically the same jokes since I was a kid. And you might want to broaden the comedy horizons somewhere else. Number two, it um, 
it's unkind. Almost. Oh, right? It's punching down. It is extremely you unpleasant me not to uh, make with fun everything of you. that that folks like <laughs> this go through, especially black ball. trans women, to then be made fun of. On especially top. black trans. And number three, it's mental illness. It's immoral. Especially black. The trans more of us you make fun of, the more society that. finds us um, dismissible. The more of us die. Why they blame everybody for them committing suicide? That don't make sense to me. Why would I blame you for? Why would you blame me for you killing yourself? Cause you were mean to me. Why would you blame me for killing yourself? I don't fucking know, bro. Yeah, bro. None of us know what the fuck's going on, bro. I, I gave up on the situation. It's just that. funny sometimes, you know. Honestly, I just can't get over honestly, it. Like it's comedy, bro. Nobody, yeah, nobody's nobody's off limits. We can't, we can't pick and choose. Like isn't that what's true funny quality? What's not. Isn't that true quality, right? If yes, we, we go like we can't. Everybody the same. If we joke on everybody, then don't joke on y'all. Then y'all get treated different. That's perfect. It's funny. I don't understand why why people keep trying to. Oh, I don't like that joke. You're not allowed to say it. it's a joke, bro. If you don't find it funny, don't laugh. Move don't on. Listen. You clearly never been made fun of in life. Hey, they, clearly they might be the ones that actually got privilege. They do. Let's see some more TikToks about it. So there is something genuinely depressing about watching Dave Chappelle, <laughs> who is one of, if not the oh, best geez, comic of our lifetime, reduce himself to the guy who makes Twinkies too. And when Dave Chappelle it first started telling these jokes, I fault. understood where it came from. Now, I didn't personally find it funny, and it's not because I was offended. It's just because, like, the jokes themselves are not funny. But I sort of understood where it came from because Dave Chappelle is an aging comic who built his career off of being relatable and being kind of like an everyday man and telling relatable stories about relatable people mm. that we as average people could really relate to. Mm. But because he's rich and elite and has been for wow. multiple decades, he has lost that sort of that he everyday touch and his life and his stories and his experiences are no longer relatable to people like us. And so because of that, he has to fall back on shock value. And he's not the only comic who does this. Ricky Gervais what does it. Fuck? Louis C.K. does it. Chris Rock does it. You know, because discussion. these these men specifically are aging and they're elite oh, and, right. no, no, and they I just don't do have like the touch anymore all right next clip in 2024 yeah. can dave Chappelle go the fuck outside uh, and touch the really motherfucking good. grass like I'm what is your obsession with know. trans i'm 100 percent convinced 100 percent convinced this, this. that some trans girl out there is sipping on some mezcal right now thinking about how she broke his heart into pieces because uh, what this is insane right. we're always in your mouth yeah, Joe. Joe. this so, internet shit, i, think you I can't keep doing this your mouth Happy New Year. See y'all later. Uh, they should probably get a fucking life. They trolling. He has a life. He's go. It's getting client. But I don't, I don't like watching this shit. Me either, bro. Hurt Dave Chappelle. Me either, bro. I really don't. Is this, is this a trans but person? It's giving disgruntled yes. client. It's Can't giving tell. angry trans. Why, why they face look like they got hit by a I'm sorry, they would have got child ass. He though. wanted to kiss Not on the one. mouth, and she was like, No, well, I don't do that. Voice. I upcharge for that. If you want to do that, you got to give me XYZ. And he was like, Oh, no, ma'am. And his ego was bruised, honey. So he went on a rampage. <laughs> what is up with people? It's giving angry trick. Am I lying? Dolls, am I lying? Do like a it's woman. It's getting angry though. trick. <laughs> no homo. She might have got Oh my God. Who goes on to make three <laughs> specials? Three comedy no, specials yeah. about the dolls no, that you yeah. can't take. Pause. Especially now with this voice. Yeah, you, pause, the voice with, I'm Get sorry. him some help. What's up with people? And they always attack people's sexuality and their history. Like to like cope with like the, the outrage of the joke. If you don't like the joke, just say you didn't like the joke. You don't have to say he's probably secretly gay. He probably secretly he like y'all. When he clearly has made plenty of jokes telling you he don't like y'all. Like at what point does say he ain't at what point no at what point does the torment end? I mean, I feel like you need to go touch grass because this is not something that you see every day, honestly. But <laughs> I'm, I don't know, man. It, 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 it's kind of it's kind of a repetitive like thing. Like anytime you do something that people don't like, they always attack your sexuality, attack your character, they attack you personally. All he did was say a joke. He didn't attack. He didn't say there was anything wrong with y'all. He didn't say he didn't hmm. like y'all. He just said this is how y'all make me feel. We think I want to call you what you are. I want to call you a man if you're really born a man. I want to call you a woman if you're really born a woman. We think racist jokes That's are funny. That's wrong. We think what, 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 
Well, it's a straight joke. I'm just, I'm just, just, I'm, just like, I'm just, I'm just lost why people think joke, people think that There's straight jokes all the time. It's just people joke about what men and women. I, I'm, do. I'm just lost Imagine that people think that they, they they can control well, what people these, say and joke about. Doing this and that, everybody. Be, oh yeah, that's what they be doing. Now, Kevin yeah. Hart used to do that all the time. Bro, I don't understand why they talking about his jokes mm-hmm. were relatable. He's literally remember he had a joke about freaking selling a baby selling drugs in the hood. That's obviously a fake joke. No, no, they right? said that, he, that dude, he's getting older now and uh, he he's getting older and more. No touch with the inside world. I don't know, like, young I just been on, like, she didn't come up on him. Like, I ain't even barely really come up on this dude. I did. I love Dave Chappelle. I, I couldn't watch Chappelle, that. Uh, yeah, I really didn't get deep into Dave Chappelle. I used to sneak and watch it. Channel, I'm I'm That's what, I, what happened if a crackhead really, really came and complained like that he did? See, how would you feel if, if my, my granny was smoking crack and y'all trying to make fun of him? I feel like my feelings are hurt. I don't know why people are taking these people serious, though. I mean, I mean, we're taking serious because this is actually like big laws being changed behind they're canceling shit. people and <laughs> ruining people's careers and yeah I just and I just don't think that's very fair I don't think you get to pick and choose what's allowed to be said based on how you mm. feel I mean honestly it's a joke guys like if Netflix watched this whole thing and reviewed it and okayed it and put it on their platform and Netflix that's has true. plenty of woke things on their yeah, platform yeah. that's very yeah. true what's I the problem about that. Then they like, can't be that like we can't pick and choose like comedy guys like it's always people what's oh, that funny you can't joke about that bro yeah, it's a joke think about that one right there but it, uh, it's just people are always trying to police what you can and can't say when your feelings get hurt. Setup. He's punching down. It's good. unkind. That was a great joke. Yeah, I he didn't even say that. We all here just like. Honestly, I thought that was a good setup so for the joke. Now, nah, first time I seen it, I was I was overly confused, and then I yeah, laughed. Kind of I was actually interested in the story. I was like, well, I wonder where he's going with this. And then like the way he just set it up to that, I was like, damn, that's that was a good joke. I thought it was funny. Honestly, <laughs> I don't understand what was so bad about that. Me personally, I don't understand what was so bad about that. I don't understand why people have to be forced to be okay with things they're not okay with. I don't understand why people are trying to police what is okay to joke about and what's not. I mean, it's getting kind of old at this point. Nah, like, it's a lot of crybabies out there. It's yeah, a trend I don't know to why offended. people are actually like catering to this. It's a trend agenda. to be offended, man. But you know, a lot of politicians are. Catering to this agenda. Now I'm seeing people coming out talking about the um, climate change. Climate. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of politicians on the left coming out saying that shit's a real thing, guys. We need to lock in on that. You know, when They're I was younger, to I really take your did rights. believe in that. I really did believe in that. When I, I was younger. If you told me something about that, yeah. It's Twitter, bro. Twitter was getting If us. you can show me some provable facts and uh, some actual data that's provable with science Remember, Elon behind said it. We could get like. However many way more people on earth than, than right now. We said less people are being born and people are dying quicker because of abortions and all that. So we need more people. We we, we on a decline when it comes to people. I was actually arguing with my mother about that today. She was like, some people are, uh, are born with more Y chromosomes. And I was like, mother, oh my God. Well, that would make me yeah. have all she actually or Down died. syndrome, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Down syndrome she or is it autism? Kind of one, I think it's she was like, syndrome. they have more extra, some chromosomes, so that makes it more feminine. And then I'm like... Mom, so you so no, you don't you, you have an X like, You said you're Christian, mother. Or X X X X X is women. X Y is men. Is isn't that isn't that? I don't it? know, but some people have some argument for it. But uh, let us know what y'all think about this, guys. This special, I, I'm gonna go watch it.